There's usually a steady stream of cars outside the Mays Cancer Center at UT Health San Antonio in the medical center. Gabriel Madrid helps park cars for free as a valet attendant. Would you like to have uh, valet today? But this isn't a typical day for him. That's because this is really a cash for kindness surprise. Are you ready, Estella? Yes, I am. This has been a long time coming. Yes, it has. Valet yeah. attended has no idea. Here we go. Hello, man. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? You're gonna valet, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. right. Yes. Okay, all right. Do you all know where, exactly where y'all are going? Actually, we're here because of you. Oh, really? Yes, are you Gabriel? Yes. Not the world famous Gabriel. Yes, I am. <laughs> Gabriel, I'm Ryan Wolf from Fox SA. Uh huh. You have any idea why I'm here? Nope. Happy birthday to you. Before Gabriel's surprise, let's take you back to this birthday surprise for Arcadio Sanchez, surrounded by loved ones. It's one of the last recordings before his stage four brain cancer diagnosis late last year. Heartbreaking. It was very heartbreaking for not just for me, my my children, my family, you know, I our world changed. Estella watched as her husband of 37 years rapidly started losing his motor functions. Simply getting up and down like this turned into a real struggle at his cancer treatment appointments. That's where Estella says Gabriel really shined. I couldn't lift him up because, you know, uh, here he is, He's at that time he was weighing 268, 5'11", and I couldn't do it by myself, but Gabriel would come. If I give you my hands, will you allow me to lift, to help you? And my husband would say, yes. And I didn't even know how to open a wheelchair. And he, right away, he took initiative. Gabriel did it every visit at the valet stand and with a smile for nearly a month until Arcadio sadly passed away in January at age 64. I just lost my husband and in his memory, you know, because he, if he would have been here, he would have wanted me to thank him as well, you know? That brings us to our cash for kindness surprise. Do you remember how you yeah. went above and beyond? Do you recall when you would tell him, if I give you my hand, yes. would you help me? Yes, Do you yes. recall? Yes. And you know, myself, I saw, Valet parking, right? right? Free valet parking. Okay. And never once did I, you know, think until I saw this lady give you a gratuity. And you all this time, you never, just because I never gave you no gratuity, you never stopped helping me. You went above and right. beyond yeah. every day, yeah. every time. Yeah. There was, I never once I tried did to I do give that you a tip. To everybody, yeah. Never once did I give you a tip. Yeah. You remember? Right, yeah. The yeah. tip doesn't matter to me. Thank you. Yes. You help. Yeah. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you remember, right? Yes, you remember. Yes. Gabriel came out of retirement to help patients and their families at the cancer center. The 69-year-old explains why it's so important to him to be kind. You made her feel like they weren't a burden, sir. Right, yes. That was special to them. Yes, I know. I know how it is because I took care of my mom for 20 years and I know how it is. On Fox SA, we have a program called Cash for Kindness. Have you ever heard of it? Yes, I have. We reward people for selfless acts of kindness. Right. Did you ever think you'd be a recipient? No. <laughs> you are. And our sponsor, Veteran Air, wants to make sure that we tip you really, really well. Would you put your hand out for me? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, what's coming next? A thousand. A thousand dollars for you, God. sir. I, mean, I don't know what to say, you know. <laughs> Man, I, I just do this for the kindness of my, and you know, for something like this to happen. Man. <laughs> is that the biggest tip you've ever received? Yes, it is. 